welcome back to the channel. Today is service day, so we're changing the oil. What else are we doing? We're doing the, the cam belt. So I'm just organising everything. I've got pretty much all the tools out ready. Dog's having his breakfast. Service parts are here. Uh, Going to start with the oil change first, I think. Just get that out of the way and it's easy, isn't it? It's half an hour. Although, I have heard that the cam belt on these are pretty easy as well. Um, four clips, three bolts off, the, the case is off and then just slide and slide the new belt on. This belt, to give you an idea, was last done in 1999. <laughs> so it's 21 years old, then at 60k. It's now on a 115 it's just clicked over to. So it's not done too many miles, but it's an old belt. So, uh, I got in touch with a, a good friend at, at Slideways and he got me a new one pretty much next day delivery, overnight parts from Japan and all that. So yeah, fitting it today, Saturday, and then we're out tomorrow for a breakfast meet that I've organized. So I'll bring you along to that. But anyway, today, service in the 80. All right, so just gonna undo these clips. I've just done these two here. Uh, just gonna undo this one. And then there's one just here as well. And the bolts, I can't really get on camera. Uh, let's see if I can zoom me zoom. Yeah, there's one there at the back, and then there's three more just down the back side, which you can, you can get to fairly easy. Um, so I'm going to take this cover off, I'm going to drain the oil, and whilst the oil's draining, I'll have a, a closer look at this belt. You don't need anything special. Screwdriver, and then just ping off. This one at the bottom, you're supposed to ideally move the, the power steering reservoir which I think I'll probably end up doing. It's only three bolts. Um, if you have a continuous job, you'll be able to see it yourself. So three bolts and just move out of the way. It just means you can pull the case out nice and easy. Twelve. I have seen guys do this as well and undo the top rad hose. I don't really want to do that. I've only just put the rod back together. So I'm going to see how I get on. Like, with this one part and the... It should give me enough room just to wiggle everything out of the way. Alrighty, we're off. Bad point now. Let me just spin this around. I've just come to take this bottom clip off here and it's not existing. I've got the three, the three others, which sit here, one, two, three on the side, but that fourth one isn't there. Hmm. Alrighty, next, let's undo these three bolts. For it. Just in case, these are a 10. It's quite tight to get to and it doesn't really help if you're left handed. I'm a bit surprised about this because either this is not a 20 year old belt or it is and it's bloody good condition. Have a check at this. I mean, that, that's nothing, that, that's a little bit marked, but for 20 years old? I'm not convinced. But I'm going to replace it anyway because I'm here and I've got the belt. But literally 20 minutes, if that, to get that cover off. So simple. So simple. Right, drop the oil time. It takes quite a lot of oil. I hope my little tub thing is big enough to catch it all. We'll soon see. Oh, 
oil's drained, I've had to use about <laughs> six different buckets, no, three different buckets, um, but they're all drained now into one big tub. I've put the new oil filter on. Uh, the old one came off quite easy, so it's only been done hand tight, which is perfect. So I've done the same, just tightened it a little bit more than hand tight this time. Uh, so now I'm going to take the timing off. Good thing about the timing is that I was expecting to have to um, sort of rotate these cogs so that everything was in line. But if you can see this line, perfect for this line. And it's the same. Let's get it in. I don't know if you can see it. Same on the bottom. It's all perfectly in line. So all I have to do is just take the belt off, put the new belt on, fill her up with oil. And away we go. Nice easy morning for a change. Alright, both belts here. This is the new one. I reckon that you'd be hard pushed. Besides the colour diff you know, sort of difference. You'd be hard pushed to say that's 20 years old. It's not cracked or anything inside or along the edges. Where is it? There it is. But anyway. Let's get this new one on. What an absolute ache in the head getting that new bell on us. And now I've got even more of an ache in the head getting this little spring over that hook, clamp, whatever you want to call it. But God, it's tight. I'm just going to try it now, but trying to record and do at the same time is a little bit difficult. But we're almost there. Top it with oil as well before we finish. <laughs> Alright, so with the help of a friend, we got it on. He came in to pick up some Land Rover parts, but helped me fit that. There he goes with his fender. Anyway, so, we've got tension about a little bit. It's a bit over loose there, but I'm not too sure if that's normal. We'll find out in a minute, I guess. It's quite tight on the bottom. So, I'm going to put this cover back on. I've already filled the markings in there. So I'm going to get this back on there, turn it over, top the oil up. Um, it's sure I know it's pretty full already, but I think once I've run it for 30 seconds, it'll need to firm the gun. I have to say a very big thank you to a good friend, Tom Job for coming up and rescuing the day. As I'd fitted everything back and I'd got everything back to, well, uh, I'd fitted everything. It was literally finished and complete. Started it over and one of the pulleys must have turned. Either skipped the tooth when I started it up or moved when I put the belt back on. I don't know, when I looked at it, it was perfectly fine. But anyway, um, he came up and helped me rectify the problem uh, and put everything back into alignment for me. Fitted the belt and then I put everything back on and that was around three hours. <laughs> uh, three hours later, I got everything back up and running. And now we're in sweet. So it went from being a really easy day that I'd stated literally a minute ago in this video anyway. Uh, it's a quite a long day, but I'm glad that I did it. First time I've ever done a timing belt before, uh, and successfully-ish. At least I know for next time just to double check everything and make sure the pulleys are still in alignment. If I'm honest, I didn't think they could be moved. Well, not by hand, I know you can move them with a 19 mil, but by hand I thought, no, not possible. But obviously it is. Uh, so yeah, we're up and running, everything's working great. Um, we are now going to start looking at some cosmetic stuff. There's a bit of rust appearing around the uh, the windshield at the top here. Uh, and the exhaust bracket snapped on me the other day. Which you'll see in the next video, uh, why that happened. Like, share, subscribe. Really appreciate all your, all your support. And I'll see you in the next video when I take around 20 trucks off-roading around North Wales. Yeah.